Hello, I'm Lynn Finch, author of The No Cash Allowance. In today's video, we're going to talk about why allowances are really about parenting. This video is for parents, homeschoolers, and anyone interested in preparing the next generation. Kids can manage money even before they know how to read, and my book explains how to do that. Now, when parents think of parenting, they don't often think that it's also their responsibility to teach their kids how to manage money. Today's kids are receiving anywhere from $800 to nearly $2,000 a year, maybe even more, in allowances. Of course, this depends on age and, and families. But learning about money starts in the home, and parents don't need to be financial experts. This quote is from Vince Shorb, the CEO of the National Financial Education Council. Parents, if you don't teach personal finance lessons to your kids, they likely will not receive any financial education. It's your responsibility to ensure they are ready to leave your home with the skills, behavior, and system that will help them be self-sufficient members of society and avoid the pain associated with money struggles. The key is to start allowances early. Now there's some research that shows that moms are especially proactive when it comes to teaching kids about money. Well, that's what happened with me. As a mom, I decided it was my responsibility. I created what became the no cash allowance and because it was successful, I wrote a book about it to share this strategy and system with other parents. Now, researchers at the University of Wisconsin in Madison report that by the age of three, most kids are able to understand the basic concepts of value and exchange that are central to economics. So parents have the advantage here because you have the three-year-old. And a three-year-old that starts a no-cash allowance or a similar system will have 15 years of hands-on experience managing their own money. Mark Cuban also tells us the value of money specifically is not something that's taught in schools, which means that ultimately it's up to parents to teach their kids how to use and manage it best. This is just one of the many important values we as parents want to instill. So I encourage parents to make allowances a learning experience in your home. Establish a consistent process and agree on it with your other parenting partners because it's an education. So you need to be consistent. You can't change the rules unless you discuss them and, and organize how that's gonna happen and provide reliable transfers of money to your kids to control. They should be able to know that they're getting their money on payday and then be able to manage it from there. Require kids to keep track of their money as a number. I find this especially important today when so much of her spending is without cash. There are numbers somewhere behind the scene that are keeping track of it, but your kids need to see those numbers. They need to manage them. They need to add and subtract and understand what's happening. And I encourage parents to use my book, The No Cash Allowance, as a guide. It's a system in which the child controls all funds received from parents through a written account initially kept in the home. Adults act as bankers and facilitators, and the child is the account owner. The child withdraws, transfers, and deposits funds while keeping a running balance. Kids get hands-on experience using their own money to develop essential life skills. Parents, including financial professionals, say they didn't realize that their kids were so capable until they started using the no cash allowance system. One mother told me how amazed she was at how capable her children were when it came to managing money and making decisions. And in closing, I encourage you to click on the link below to go to my website and read the blog and maybe even order a copy of my book. You can also download allowance log sheets for kids starting as early as preschool. 
Please subscribe and share this with other parents. Thanks for listening.